Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay. So this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and uh, Scorpio Rising monthly tarot reading for July 2019 and uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the cards and uh, we can jump straight to the reading. Alright, so the first card which represents Scorpio's topic for the uh, month of July is going to be the King of Pentacles, followed by the second card which stands for the peripheral activities which Scorpio can totally go for or totally neglect, it depends how you feel about it guys, that will be the Eight of Wands. Followed by the third card, which stands for the challenges of the situation, and uh, that will be the Three of Cups. Afterwards, it's about the positive aspect of the month. Um, that will be the Eight of Pentacles. And then the last card that we have is going to regard to the, or refer to the guidance here uh, that the Tower is offering to you or to us, because I'm a Scorpio as well. Uh, that will be the Queen of uh, the Queen of Wands. All right, so um, once again, let's go through the cards. The first one is to be the uh, King of Pentacles, which refers to the topic of the month, followed by the peripheral activities of the month, which is the Eight of Wands. Then we do have uh, the uh, Tree of Cups, which stands for the uh, challenges. And then it is the uh, Eight of Pentacles, which regards to the positive aspect of the month. And the final card for us, guys, is going to be the Guidance here, Queen of Wands. All right, so uh, it's it's going to be a good uh, good month. I cannot say really fantastic, but definitely it is a, a month where um, I don't know if I have to use that term again and over and over again. But uh, it's going to be a productive month and in generally a, a month of uh, of growing. Though throughout the month, not everybody is going to be agreed with uh, our standpoint and with our goals, if you want to take it that way. So the first card which uh, we do have, it's a, a King of Pentacles and that refers to a person that is going to be the very core of your month, all right? And what happens with this person is that they're willing to, uh, to invest in you in any way. Uh, now, uh, the King of Pentacles as a person, it doesn't necessarily have to be a man, all right? It could be a woman. Okay, they are very dedicated and somewhat sedated. What I mean is that they prefer the things to be thorough, they prefer the things to be meticulously performed, and uh, as well, they do not strive toward, um, how can I describe it, uh, risky things. What I mean is that they prefer first to solidify what they're working on until this very moment, and then explore a new varieties and new opportunities. The thing is, Scorpio, that you very well fit into something that they try to develop, right? And that's why this person is going to propose you something, okay? They're going to be willing to invest, like I said. 
Now, it's very important not to get mistaken the generosity of the King of Pentacles with charity, all right? I mean, there has to be something in return for them as well, in uh, according to that investment. So, how can I do? Well, let, let's give you a couple of examples here, all right? So, if that is a, about a business proposition, someone who wants to invest into your business, then definitely uh, there has to be a, a pretty good cut for them as well, or uh, at least, you know, the uh, the balance has to be 50-50. And, uh, and then if this is a, about a relationship, let's say someone approaches you and wants to invest in you emotionally, then this card would mean that the, this person will want a reassurance that the relationship will have somewhat results that they are expecting. The accompanied card here is going to be the Knight of Wands and the formation, it is a, a passive neutrals. And that is another confirmation that this King of, One, a King of uh, Pentacles does not want to play risky, all right? They want everything to be established, every, everything to be sorted out, everything to be systemized into a, a plan. So uh, as soon as this opportunity for you comes around, through this person, Scorpio, it will be best to, to simply take your time, use your communicational skills, if you want to say it that way, you know, it's kind of like talk about it a lot, you try to um, determine or rather like foresee as much as you can, you know, what could arise throughout uh, the future, you know, and how you can deal with certain issues that could come up um, and obstruct your uh, target and your, your goal for moving on forward. Now, the uh, peripheral activities here are the Eight of Wands. And the first thing that immediately comes to my mind, which is something that I know that I'm going to do through the month of July, is travel a lot, all right? So that is a peripheral activity, which somewhat has nothing to do with the King of Pentacles. You're going to have that proposition either way. It is just with the Eight of Wands, uh, what I can add additionally to the traveling is that those are going to be very spontaneous endeavors that are going to come around. Endeavors which are not going to be always positive. Now, the uh, Eight of Wands is about high risk, high reward, and it's about inconsistency as well. So it's very important to be agile with your, um, how can I describe it, you know? Um, well, it's no different than um, you have every day that you do have many things to do and you do have just so much time. So you have to pick up carefully, you know, what kind of activity you want to do so you can have the best time possible spent. All right. It is that kind of an information and the traveling still stands. The accompanied card here is going to be the uh, page of swords. So the formation, it is a uh, active friends that we do have. And with the page of swords here, many of those activities are going to be something new for you. You know, things that you haven't, um, how can I describe it, that you haven't experienced yet. For example, the first thing that comes to my mind right now is, for example, me riding a roller coaster. I have never ride a roller coaster. I'm going to travel anywhere near a roller coaster, you know, but still it's something that comes to my mind and I, I will be terrified doing it so because it seems quite scary, but it's going to be an experience that I haven't experienced before and it's not going to reflect in any way, you know, my main topic, which is going to be the interaction with this person that we are to create something together. So, uh, yeah, Scorpio, it does look like quite of a dynamic month, a, a month that we guys have a lot to gain from, okay? It is just, uh, we, we should not be unreasonable and selfish as well, okay? So, as, as we are striking a deal with someone, as the deal have to be beneficial for us, that deal needs to be beneficial for the other side as well, so everybody is happy at the end, which is uh, which there is a, a big chance that to happen. The next card that we do have, it is the Three of Cups, and that is the challenges. So as I said, not everybody is going to be agreed with what you're doing. This card points the division of... Um, the vision that you do have with the cooperation of the King of Pentacles is not going to be faced with understanding into your inner circle, like, for example, from your family, you know, from your friends and etc, etc. So you will be 
widely misunderstood about what you want to push through with the king of pentacles that being said do not fall into despair or do not discourage yourself <clears throat> you know sometimes your success it's not anybody else's success what i mean is that this this thing here is going to be something that works for you and that fulfills you it doesn't fulfill your friends or your family all right so you cannot judge how well the situation is going to move on forward based on the statements of people that have nothing to do with the situation in the first place then the tree of um cups represents as well as the challenges that things even though well negotiated you know and well established may not take off straight away okay that card points a delays into the very first results that one expects so that being said it is also a uh, a challenge to, to to maintain the situation instead of bailing on it just so you see that there is not much of a movement straight away the accompanied card here is going to be the Seven of Cups and we definitely can see how we can be winded, all right? Because that proposition or this interaction is going to be uh, very good to be true, you know, or, or, or something that we have waited for a long time. It will be like, um, an, I would say, quite an unexpected turn of events for a Scorpio, which will allow us to believe, you know, that how can i describe it that is a fairy tale and um, like i said the very first results of that fairy tale is going to be delayed so you may end up disappointed if you are not objective about it okay so let's say that you have been offered a very good position at a certain company but right now there is someone there working in notice all right and that they are dealing with an important project and the project demands that person to stay for one more month okay after the notice ends so it's kind of like a, a delayed situation but that doesn't mean that you ain't gonna get you know what you have been promised or what you have negotiated for then the next card is going to be in regards to the positive aspect of the month and we do have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles points that whatever took a long time to be prepared or to end to be planned finally can be initiated. So it, it, it looks like that you, Scorpio, have thought a lot, you know, how you're going to play out a certain situation. God knows I did, all right? And it seems out that it's it seems like this is, is coming true. I mean, if we finally will have that chance to initiate and to and to become successful in it because the eight of pentacles speaks that we're gonna have these uh, that that eye for the subtleties all right that eye for the minor details and very with a very skillful maneuvers and very subtle actions as well we are gonna be able to take the best possible not just only approach but also to make the most out of uh, out of our situations. Now, one thing more I want to say is that if this refers to our relationships, guys, then the Eight of Pentacles could mean a couple of things, all right? I mean, if you are in a current relationship, that card points that your relationship is going to be quenched. What I mean is that it's going to go through ups and downs and at the end, end up much more stronger should you, like I said, have the these eyes for the subtleties and address the issues that these ups and downs are going to bring up to you and resolve them. But if you are single, the Eight of Pentacles finally says that you are going to start meeting an inappropriate people, that you are to have chance to make a relationship with or that they are going to fit into your criteria to start a relationship with, which fits into the statement that something that took a long time to be prepared finally can be acted upon. Okay, so you prepared for a long time to be in a relationship and finally the conditions are right and you can do it. Okay, because you do have a person who fit into your criteria. You probably speak, you know, you probably have a cup of coffee uh, together. You are into each other and now it's time to initiate. The accompanied card is going to be Ten of Pentacles and... Um, <clears throat> that points how just how comfortable you are going to be into uh in this um in, in this month and how easy the things are to be executed and to be attended as well now sorting out things have nothing to do with the results okay i mean you can sort out something and the results could follow after a couple of months but that being said guys with the ten of pentacles to the eight of pentacles that is one more confirmation that whatever investments you do throughout the month money time effort studying you name it 
they are going to be repaid. I mean, and they are going to be repaid with the interests. Because like we said, King of Pentacles is not a person of charity, but it's a very generous one. And if that person sees your devotion, they see that you do whatever you can and whatever it takes to maintain this partnership, you know, to maintain that idea, either relationship or either career, you know, they're going to do the same. And you are going to see how well you contribute e with each other toward the common goal. And that leads us to the to the last, the final card here, which is the guidance, and that is the Queen of Wands. So have confidence. That is the guidance. I mean, you very well have whatever it, whatever it takes, you know, to push that thing through. To be very good partner into relationship. To be very good partner into business as well. And <clears throat> on top of that, you need to follow your acute sense of. For the, I would say again, the subtleties, I don't know how to um, else describe it, you know, let's say that you, uh, when something arises as an issue, as a, as a situation, you will immediately going to know what you have to do, you know, and what causes that situation should be bad and what needs to be dealt with, or what should be capitalized and utilized on, should that be a, a positive uh, enterprise, okay? Also, the Queen of Wands says that you are going to be like a, uh, especially for those which are single, you're going to be like a, uh, a, a fire in a lonely, uh, cold night. So you are going to attract people. You're going to attract a lot of, a lot of attention throughout the months. Take advantage of that, you know. Uh, also, the card urges you to take care for yourself. Do your makeup uh, as best as you can, you know, your, your hair. Just, just try to present yourself as best as you can. Do not neglect, you know, your, uh, your appearance. And finally, you're going to have that acute sense as well into the human nature, which means that uh, you will immediately going to know what your partner needs, for example, or how to make your partner do something you want or how to, to, to basically unite yourself with a partner. It, it is very difficult to describe, but yeah, acute sense into the nature what your partner or what the person that you are dealing with lacks, all right, and how that gap or how, yeah, how that gap can be, uh, can be filled up. The accompanied card here is going to be the tree of pen, the tree of wands, and it doesn't get any better than that. It's simply these cards are pointing that, you know, this thing that you're going to have with the king of uh, pentacles, that person uh, is going to go for a extremely long run. I mean, the journey just starting, guys, uh, the, 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 the growth have just begun. And, who knows where you may find yourself in a couple of months, in one year, in a couple of years. So whatever the King of Pentacles, whatever role the King of Pentacles plays in your life, that role uh, gives you tremendous amounts of expand and growth as well. And you have to do whatever it takes to sustain this interaction, okay? this, this partnership, this cumulative experience. So that being said, Scorpio, this was your monthly tarot reading for July 2019, guys. It's a really, really positive one. I definitely know I needed this one. And because uh, July is going to be a big month for you. And uh, yeah, I hope that it goes even beyond my expectations. But anyway, yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed it, that reading. I hope you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.